Hello and welcome to this month's episode of SWB TV. A number of important occasions were marked in November. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. The school fell silent to mark 100 years since the end of the First World War. As is our yearly tradition, Mrs Parker played the last post before the two-minute silence. However, this year the event was marked by the creation of a poppy fall display. The whole school stood in silence as a mark of respect. There were also some great entries in the November House competition, where students were asked to create a poem or piece of artwork based on World War I. The winner for the poetry was from Briar Rose Bond, which raised thoughtful questions about how much people actually remember in terms of the sacrifice that was given. Taylor Maxwell's poem is fantastic as it brings the battlefield and the horrors of World War I to life. For art, the winner was Alexi Ball with this giant poppy that clearly had a great deal of effort put into it. This drawing from Libby Homer was really beautiful, with the contrast in black and white mixed with the red of the poppies and Canadian flag. A nice gesture to the other nations that sacrificed so much in the war. November also saw a number of events to celebrate Diwali, once again organised by the sixth form. Students and staff came in traditional dress, we sold samosas, and our wonderful catering team put on a range of traditional dishes, which flew off the shelves. And of course, there was plenty of music and dancing. As part of SWB's sixth form enrichment, I offered students who have not started their driving lessons a day course in promoting car safety awareness. It included role-playing different scenarios, prompting the students to think about how they would react if a friend was driving dangerously. Don't open that so Are you sure? Uh, mate, you're in my car. I don't care. Right not Kim, you're quite my life. Yeah, I'm what? And that, uh, mate, mate. I've never not like this at all, still. You stop the car. You said, I'm watching my life. You're in this. You said, I'm watching my life. You just stop the car. Stop the car. There's two cops right there, mate. You're going to miss your car, put This month, we also held a careers fair, which offered students and parents a chance to speak to employers and training providers and universities. The students asked some amazing questions and really got some really helpful advice about their futures. In media studies, there's been some great work going on. These year nines have enjoyed taking part in a photo shoot to help create their own movie posters using advanced Photoshop skills. And these year 11s have shot and edited their own TV interviews as part of their coursework. There are a number of great after school clubs running at the moment, covering skills as diverse as movie making, games design, engineering and robotics, and even Korean. Students have been learning the language and culture in Korean Club with Miss Pearsall for the past few months. They decided to create a video of a short conversation about K-pop to show off their skills. Annyeong Kaira, Annyeong Jajinasa, Nae Joa, Oje Bam and Sti Boasso, Mola Onna Mojaj. Annyeong Moaheo, and Sti Dehe Iagi. I've got it, so. Ugh, NCT and Gwenchman, BTS got a dojo. BTS, none best, so. And there! 
No papa. NCT is life. In geography, Mr. Element's class have been looking at animals that live in the deserts and the various features they have to help them survive. The students are going one step further and designing their own animals. Here are some of our favourite pictures. My animal that I've created is a reindeer slash camel slash giraffe. Its antlers are used for digging to find water. Its paws have claws for digging and gripping onto the ice in cold weathers. Its big eyelids are for blocking out sand during sandstorms. My animal is an animal on Earth called the Healer Monster. Its adaptations are that it has an enormous grip and doesn't let go until it wants. The spike is used so when it's buried itself underground, it can extend the spike out to kill prey, which has been attracted to um, fake berries which have it's grown on its tail. What I have created for a hot desert is a desertion talon winged bat. As you can see it has mysterious pieces of shards hanging around its head that in an instant he can send a fort to them and he can attack animals with them. In the cold desert we have a polar bear. It has penguin flip flappers so it can swim faster. The dog's tail so it can whack anybody that's behind it. So this is a penguin what was born in the desert and if the heat stays on it for too long the tail will just burn away. When the heat's really burning the wings can just like flap and you'll get a nice breeze. This is where mainly all the heat's been and it's trying making it shatter away. The head's nearly shattered. House leaders went head to head again with a badminton competition with the help from a few selected students. Overall, the winner was Mr Footman for Atwood House with three victories. Second place was Miss Alexander for Brindley. Third was Miss Fredman for Weston. And fourth place was Mr Barbary for Sanderson. Congratulations to all involved, especially the students who played a huge part in making the tournament a success. All students displayed fantastic sportsmanship and a real desire to compete and win for their houses. Year 9 Performing Arts have been working hard on their Snow White pantomime since September and it is almost time for the performances to begin on the 19th and 20th of December. We'll let the stars of the show tell you all about it. Pantomime season is here and this year it's all about me and me, the fairest of them all, Snow White. That's right, it'll be such a jolly night out for all of the family. It will be so magical. Oh no it won't. Oh yes it will. Oh no it won't. It'll be a night of evil and terror with me, the fairest of them all, bringing a new age of darkness to Bilsey. No, I am the fairest of them all and far more evil than you. Sweet. The performance is on the 19th and 20th of December. Tickets are no one saying at this address. Somewhere. It's behind you! Oh yes, of course. This address. We've been working hard on this for months. So come along or I'll turn you all into disgusting trolls. Hmm. Looks like some of you have already transformed. 